TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, June edition, with your hosts Pablo Gunner, Marvin Goof, The Ambassador, and we are here to talk nerdy to you about Kaiju number 8. Let's get into Kaiju number 8. We talked a little bit about it in the previous podcast, and uh, yeah, it's it's just gotten so much better and so much more intense. What happened in it is I didn't expect it to happen so soon because these kind of things they they have a tendency to tease out for a long time. Sometimes it's interesting to see when someone has like a secret identity or whatever, like how long they can go without. And this one, I feel like that he's like, well, I don't want. And this this thing just happened where they're like, oh, these things are this these things are combining to turn into a nuclear bomb. And he's like, all right, well, I don't want everyone to die, so I'm just gonna reveal who and what I am now, and that's it. And you're like, okay. So the ramifications going forward is what you're like, oh my god, I want to see how they handle this going forward. I mean, I kind of hope they just have him on as part of the team, but I'm interested to see. Like, are they going to have a trial? I mean, there's or whatever kind of steps they go through, you know? Like, they even what they did with, with Eden when he they discovered that he was a Titan, it was like, it was intense. It was scary. You didn't know what was going to happen. I, I'm looking forward to seeing that kind of thing. And even the stuff leading up to that, because, like, the fight he had with the vice captain. And I was like, the vice captain's going to die. The vice captain has to die because he can't become vice captain if there is a vice captain. That was my thought process. I don't know if that's going to happen. It probably will eventually. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't even know. Like, they were pretty messed up by the injuries. Well, the vice captain's always been kind of interesting of a character. Yes. He he likes to laugh at the main character, but he also suspects... Something's going on. There's something off mm. with him and wants to find out what it is. Yeah. Because he's, like, looking at all these numbers, like, this person literally has 1% power, yet... He's able to do all this crazy stuff. Yet... Sometimes when we're monitoring him, it something goes something weird. goes weird with the numbers, and he wants to figure out what's going on. Well, he ends up in like a blackout zone or something, yeah. so like he, he's able to mask it or whatever, you know. So he has dust things. But I was, you know, what's cool too is that he because he was doing things like he he got hurt or no no he had to do something super speed, and I was like, oh, why doesn't he just power up his legs? And I thought that in an earlier episode when I think he hurt his leg, and I was like, can't he just like use like just use the kaiju on his legs to like regenerate faster but he didn't know how to do that yet so like that's the thing or is he's slowly been depends on where he's things at out. too yeah because like he, if there's not people if there's people around he can't do it if people are gonna notice it he yeah can't do it right that's part of it too he doesn't want to reveal himself so it's 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 gonna be crazy and, and i like it i heard they're already doing a game for it which i'm like i love when they're like they do stuff like that in japan's like they got their stuff together they're like we got this kit manga, we're turning it into a show. Okay, we have this we have this kit anime, we're turning it into a game. <laughs> and so it all goes, it just lines up perfectly, so you just be like, rake it in, you know? Cause like I think they did a similar thing with like Attack on Titan. I love those games, like so good. It's like, oh my god, I, I still wanna play them more. I, I love it, like it's it's still continuing, it just the same things that we would mentioned but in our previous podcast about it, they just keep on getting better and better. Those same elements, you know, him being kind of like the old man daddy uh, of the group, you know, and, and being like what the team needs in a sense, you know. Like he has this knowledge too of all these aliens and or of all these kaijus. It's, it works out so great because it's not just like, a oh, I'm just going to use my kaiju. Because that was kind of Eren's thing, right? Which is like the only thing that kind of made him special was... His tenacity and his, and then he got the Titan. This guy has knowledge, you know, about these things. So he literally can be kind of useless, but then once he brings that in, it, it le kind of levels the playing like, field. Like there's so many battles he goes into where, because he tells them what they need to do, mm -hmm. they Strategies. can do it strategy-wise, mm -hmm. because if they didn't know that, they wouldn't have won. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. To the point where, even though he still hasn't shown... His ability to kill kaiju well, they're like, well, you have to. You're you're not just a maybe. You're 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 part of the team. They now. make him an officer. Yeah, yeah you're an officer. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not just an intern now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, he's a low level. He might even be still low level officer. Okay, he's still got a lot to work himself up. But we'll see how it goes now. You know, that might boost him, boost him up. But it, it might make it worse. We'll see. I don't know. He might be like have to go on the run. Who knows? So yeah, it's... I almost suspect it's because he turns into a kaiju that his uh, suit ratio is so low. Yeah, maybe. I would think it would make him go like into a hundred percent or higher or something. I don't know. But may only if he's in kaiju form. Yeah, only. Yeah. So yeah, he's like trying to mask it sort of. But I definitely, I it's a must see for me. I it's yeah. a phenomenal anime. It's a must see for me as well. Hey, there's agreement here. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about our merch. Let's talk about our merch. I'm sporting uh. Our Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars Talk Nerdy to Me, just plain. And then I got the shorts, Talk Nerdy to Me. You can get that on our website. It's on sale with free shipping. Probably going to continue to be because of the fact that Acolyte is continuing into the next month. A lot of this stuff is like prototype stuff. So it's upgraded. There's better versions on our actual website. And hey, if there's anything that you want customized to you or you there anything you have any idea, just send it to us and we'll do our best to do that and see what we can get away with. Because there's some stuff we can, some stuff we can't. <laughs> you know, we push the boundaries as much as we can. <laughs> yeah, I got my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Top Nerdy to Me shirt. Pretty awesome. I got the Halo web. The good Halo. Ooh, yeah. Yes. I like it. So, yeah. Uh, and if you want any of this stuff, just request it. If it's not on the website, just hit us up and, and we'll make it available to you and, and hook you up. Cool? So, for shout outs, we really don't have much. Uh, <laughs> because, um, well, I mean, all, MK Jekyll and Hyde is now at the top of that list because they're phenomenal. They reached 250 subs on their for their comics, for their online comics, and, and they're really cool and really awesome, and, and they do great stuff. I know they're uh, a parent as well, and so it's, it's great conversing with them, and just all their posts are great. The Pesky Gremlins, they have a new website, and they have, like, new comics, web comics out, too, that look fun and enjoyable. And, and they always help out with their stuff. Eric Lopez, that guy's always a G. Like, he's the best on, on Twitter mm -hmm. and retweeting our stuff, as well as the podcast that never dies, or what, what is it? The podcast that wouldn't die? The podcast that wouldn't yeah, die. Yeah, the podcast yes. that wouldn't die. They're always awesome, too. Check them all out. I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all.